This is WSOE 89.3 Elon Burlington, and you're listening to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Sam Porzak. And I'm his guest, Colin Kerr. And you are listening to Good Vibrations, which means it's time for some Good Vibrations. Welcome back. You are listening to Good Vibrations with Sam Porzak and my guest star, Colin Kerr. Hello. And, it's good to have you, Colin. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, this week's theme, as always, we have a positive theme that all the songs and music uh, represent, and I try and talk about some good stuff to make you feel good for at least an hour of the week. And this week's theme is, oh boy, where did I write it down? Uh, um, this week's theme is Dream On. You know, we're going to be talking about dreams, getting sleep, uh, literal dreams, chasing your real life dreams. Colin Kerr, what does Dream On mean to you? A lot of things. Uh, right now, I, I'm currently thinking about uh, my future dreams, my, my hmm. career dreams and my lifelong dreams about what I want to do with my career. Uh, currently, I'm... I'm working on uh, internship applications, and that that is making me really think hard about what I want to do with my life. Mm. But uh, also, a big part of Dream On, for me, it, a, a big Dream On means to me um, something about like my my, my personal dreams. And okay. when I when I dream a lot at night, uh, sometimes. Uh, I wake up and I, I I can't tell reality from dreams and it's kind of <laughs> kind of disturbing sometimes. <laughs> All righty, well it seems like you're the perfect candidate to be on this show. And you know, Colin, it has been my dream to have you on here, which means you're making my dreams come true, which is appropriate because our next song is "You Make My Dreams" by Hollow Notes. Here it is. Welcome back. This is WSOE Good Vibes. I'm your host, Sam Porzak, and I am here with the wonderful Colin Kerr. And you know what? We are college students with big dreams. Yes, we are. Tell them about them, Colin. My dream is to direct movies, and sometimes I, I, I get consumed by uh, the the kind of intimidating idea of of the process that gets it, it would take to get there, mm-hmm. but also it's exci- it excites me. What about you, Sam? What do you what do you dream to do with your life? <sighs> There's a lot of paths I could take, but ultimately I just want to entertain people. You know, that is that is such a <laughs> that that that's, that's that's such a selfless dream. That I I, lo- I love that to just to Thank entertain you. people. It's like you can do so many things with that. I mean, whether it's like comic books or like even just creating graphics or or writing or even like I. That's why I like this radio show so much. It's like if I've even made one person's day or week a little bit better, I That's have wonderful. done my job in spades. That's so wonderful, dude. <laughs> and I, I feel like uh, you do stand-up. I do. And stand-up for you seems to be really fulfilling. And every time you do it, the whole room is just engaged. The last Aww. time you did stand-up, I was like, this this, this man is in his element. Thank you, Colin. It's I enjoy it, and I really, especially with stand up, I try to go for less vulgar stuff, uh, just because I, f- I really just want to make as many people feel good as possible, and I don't really want to put anyone down or any kind of idea. So I'm I'm all about building it up. Uh, this is a little bit off topic, but uh, kind of on the topic of our dreams, we both just, as you mentioned, we had a uh, Warner Media. Um, application. It's due tonight at midnight. Uh, you're still working on it, which is totally cool. Yeah, we're doing that right after very, this. Very stressful, but uh, that's what comes with it. I submitted mine a little earlier today, and you know what? I'll be honest. It, it was kind of terrifying because you're we're we're applying to this gigantic media company that does Warner Brothers and Cartoon H- Network and Adult HBO, Swing, HBO, many others. That, CNN is one of the companies. It's incredible, and it's like. What could I possibly have to offer these companies? But it's like they're looking they're looking for college students. What else are they looking for? We've exactly. done stuff. We've done cool things. We are doing cool things. I mean, look at we're having a radio show <laughs> talk right now. This is awesome. Exactly. And sometimes you just got to dream big. S- there's no transition here, but the next song <laughs> uh, I want to play 
is River of Dreams by Billy Joel. This is practically a segment on my show by now. I'm going to call it Give Me the Joel uh, because I love Billy Joel and he has written so many songs that basically each of them applies to one of my week's themes. So uh, here is Billy Joel with River of Dreams. Give me the Joel. That was Mr. Sandman by the Cordettes, and their goal was for Mr. Sandman to bring them a dream, a significant other. And you know, at this point, I wouldn't mind if Mr. Sandman did the same for me. How about you, Colin? I, I, can, I can totally agree with that. <laughs> oh boy, it's, uh, you know, they don't tell you, college, a little lonely. Yeah, this uh, was it's su- rough out here in these Elon streets. <laughs> this was supposed to be a joke, but... Uh, it's, it's sounding a little sad for my station. Um, Let's turn it to a positive note. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who are some cool people that you dream, some cool friends <laughs> that you have that you dream of a, a, a future, uh, uh, you dream a continuation mm. of your friendship with? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is about it. This is at least as good a pitch as the, I, I'm. Tr- as I'm trying to trying to trying to turn this in an optimistic. Uh, no, that's fair. I gave direction. you a weird prompt for that one. Um, I got a lot of people I dream of growing closer to. You know, uh, improv. We, we just got a batch of new freshmen. They all seem super cool. I'd love to get to know them better. I'm getting to know your friends better. I yeah. mean, we practically have like three extra roommates in our uh, apartment now because. Our boys Hunt and Henry and Christian are often over so often, so I'd love uh, to get Some of them just them. go to the apartments <laughs> and hang out there when we're not there. They kind of <laughs> live there as well. Uh, yeah, one would think they were in home intruders, but now they are just our friends. Um, boy, you know what? I wish I was friends <laughs> with an octopus. Because... <laughs> 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 Oh boy, wouldn't that be uh, delightful? Because then we could go in his garden. Wow, I am something about having a guest on makes my transitions just that much worse. <laughs> this is Octopus's Garden by the Beatles. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> And welcome back. You're listening to Good Vibes with Sam Porzak, uh, starring Colin Kerr tonight. And you just heard uh, Sweet Dreams Are Made of These by the Eurythmics. Now, between that and Octopus's Garden, they get across the idea of some very weird dreams, you know. Colin, do you have any weird dreams? In a literal sense, not a weird life goal, but a weird uh, dream you've had recently. Yeah, um... I can't speak as much to the specifics of dreams I've had recently because um, off the top of my head, it's hard to recall because, you know, of dreams course. are a bit elusive once you're waking. Mm. But um, I've had dreams recently where within the dream, I'll wake up from a dream. And oh. then – so it's like I ha- I'm having multi-layered dreams. Oh, no, that's and terrifying. so it's kind of like Inception. And mm-hmm. then when I finally wake up into this this world, I ha- kind of have an existential, like, reality-breaking moment where I, I go, is this still a dream? <laughs> oh, no. Or am I actually waking? And then the rest of the day I go through <laughs> my day thinking, <laughs> I don't know if – this is real or if I'm mm-hmm. just going to wake up again. And then it leads me down the path of, am I, am I dream? Have I been dreaming my whole life? Am I going to wake up as a 12 year old one day <laughs> reset? I feel like you're just one step away from having lucid dreams. Like, you know oh, what that dude, is? I have had, I, I have a lot of like, like lucid dreams, but okay. So wait, actually, so clarify for me, mm-hmm. are lucid dreams, you know, you're dreaming, you know, you're dreaming. Yeah. Oh, I have when I'm dreaming, I 
hardly know that I'm dreaming when I'm dreaming, Mm -hmm. but I have, like, full control over what's going on in that dream. Interesting. So it's it's like I have lucid dreams aside from... The fact that lucid (laughs) dreams, except I'm not aware that I'm actually dreaming, yeah. Interesting. As a kid, I was really into the idea of lucid dreaming. And I learned that, like, if you kept a dream journal, it would really help you. And it never did, even though I tried documenting (laughs) my dreams for a while. And this has inspired what is potentially going to be the worst segment we've done thus far on my show. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to call it I Dream of Sammy. And I pulled up some old... (laughs) old uh, dream journal entries, and we're going to try and make sense of them. Because first of all, they're dreams. They don't make a lot of sense to start with. And second, you know, you always write them like right after you wake up. And yeah. they're, you're, you're very foggy in the head, and your keyboard autocorrects a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we're going to go through like three very short entries I've written down, see if there's any comedy to be found. This first one is called Race Winner. And it is uh, directly transcribed. It is I won a race for dollar sign million type of game show with this great shortcut I found, AHS was was ting, to become rich and famous. In the meantime, I tried to meet up with a girl I met on the show. Thoughts. I love the, go back to the dollar sign was was ting. For dollar sign million type of game show with this great shortcut, was was ting. Was was ting. I just, like, I know that when I wake up sometimes, I'm like... My eyes are shut half of the time, and I'm just kind of like fat thumbing all like the keyboard. So I, I I imagine that's like what was going on when you were typing that. Um, mm-hmm. But I like I'm trying to figure out like what how how to relate like all the different events in that dream. It, that's that's I wild, no dude. We need. I would love to talk to like a dream interpreter just to see what they. Do you make think sense there's? Va- I've always wondered. Do you think there's validity to interpreting dreams? <sighs> there must be to a certain degree. I don't think in the sci- in the sense of like astrology or like tarot cards. Like I don't think they have a greater like universal meaning. But I think that they're like what's been on your psyche lately. Certainly. Yeah. 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 I, I don't. I don't think there's. Um, I mean, it depends on what your religious and spiritual beliefs are, but mm-hmm. personally, I I feel like dreams mainly have implications on your personal self, L- like like what what what's going on in your life. Like maybe if you're stressed, your dreams are going to be some. Honestly, when I'm more stressed, my dreams tend to be a lot more vivid and huh. um, exhausting. Sometimes I wake up mentally exhausted from my dreams. Interesting. And, and I have and like, very restless sleeps. I get that, though, because, like, definitely in high school, whenever I would do theater, I would have a lot more nightmares about, like, opening night and I don't know my lines. Because that's, like, my biggest fear is mm-hmm. just being totally unprepared for something. That was terrifying. But <laughs> do you want to hear one more dream I wrote down? Absolutely. This one's very short. It's, it's called Monster Puzzle, and it reads as follows. Ready Player One, but it's real life Goosebumps monsters instead of VR. <laughs> so wait, it's just Goosebumps. <laughs> so it's it's Ready Player One, but it's not VR. So it's just the real world, I guess. Yeah. And then Goosebumps monsters. So it's just Goosebumps. It's just Goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, it's just all of the Goosebumps monsters. It's uh, not just one Goosebumps narrative. Dude, did, you, I, did you see that movie? I did not see the new movies. No, did you? I saw the first one. It was very good. Really? That's honestly good to hear. I love Jack Black. I think <sighs> I he's a know. one of the f- greatest like co- like comedy screen actors right now. Mm-hmm. Also, his YouTube channel oh, so funny. just solidified my love for him. <laughs> it, it's it he never games and he only like talks about he's like this is going to be a Minecraft let's play and mm-hmm. he never plays Minecraft. <laughs> Ironically, despite being in the band Tenacious D and having very vulgar topics, he's just like a wholesome guy. Oh, he really is. Mm-hmm. I think he lets out the the vulgarity through his like his it's comedy. It's a persona. It is a per- he, his his like comedic self is is totally a persona. Yeah, I, I think he's good at like living um, living a wholesome life as Jack Black, but. <laughs> As Jack, the Jack Black that is an entertainer, he is, uh, well, Jack Black and Tenacious D is a different persona. Yeah. Do you want to hear my Jack Black impression I've just decided to do on air? (laughs) Yeah, go for it. This is Jack Black. We're going to bring the thunder. The next song we've got up is Jukebox Hero by Foreigner, and it's a song about a kid rising to the top with some 
the wicked guitar. <laughs> this is Jukebox Hero by Foreigner. Enjoy. That was an awesome transition. <laughs> I was not expecting that to be a transition at all. Thank you. Oh, This is Good Vibes with Sam Porzok, starring Colin Kerr, and that was Daydream Believer by the Monkees. Uh, very nice song. I'm not sure exactly what the message is, but it's kind of feel good. Uh, so you had a topic you wanted to discuss, Colin. Um, yeah, uh, it's in reference to one of the uh, upcoming songs, uh, mm. L- Lock It by Crumb. It's probably one of my... Uh, one of my favorite songs of the past year, uh, especially because the music video is so, um, it's, it's so honestly, so it's so experimental mm. that it's inspiring. A lot of the shots in it. It's um, super trippy. Oh yeah. But like in, in a very experimental, I feel like a lot of experimental filmmaking is trippy to a certain degree because mm-hmm. it's like, whoa, I've never seen anything like this before. That's true. Um, but that, that movie has given me the dream to make a music video Ooh, like that. Okay. So I thought that was a good way to tie it into our topic of tonight. I like that. Yeah. And speaking of Lock It by Crumb, up next we've got Lock It by Crumb. Uh, I've selected this. It doesn't specifically talk about dreams or anything, but it has a very dreamy vibe to it, very kind of very train so. of consciousness. Their whole um, discography has a very dreamy vibe to it, as if someone was... Just really out of Writing it, it or uh, making the music in a daze. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As if they were very sleepy for some reason. Yes. All right. I wonder so here why. we've got Lock It by Crumb. Welcome back to Good Vibes. I'm your host, Sam Porzak, and I'm here with Colin Kerr. That's me. Colin, what do you think of Lock It by Crumb? I love that song so much. I love that band. I'm seeing them later this semester at Cat's Cradle. If you're in the, a local in the area, go see Crumb at Cat's Cradle, I think, November 17th. Hmm. It's absolutely worth it. Tickets are cheap. I really have to get around to seeing one of those one day. You, Hey, <laughs> dude, go to Crumb. Go see Crumb at Cat's Cradle with us. I've yeah. never I've never been a huge concert guy. I've only ever seen like three or four, and they've been really good. But like concert, like I don't know, culture has never really appealed to me. But I might have to I'm try it out. I'm not big in a concert culture. I'd say I'm just more of an avid concert go- goer. I'm, I go for the music, and I love it. Yeah, that's fair. But, you find uh, your own reason to go. Uh, staying up at concerts, you know, you can stay up so late, and you sometimes forget that it is very important to get a good night's rest. You know. Here at Good Vibes, we not only want you to feel happy, we want you to feel good. And sometimes when you're chasing your dreams, it's easy to lose rest. It's easy to get tired because you're staying up and you're not pursuing – you're pursuing your real dreams. You're not pursuing your dream dreams. So you know what? Our last song for the night is Dream Sweet in C Major by Miracle Musical. And it is a very if, – if Locket is a dream vibe, this is like a double dream vibe. Uh, It is a very long song, so we will not be coming back after this, but I just want to remind everybody to get a good night's rest, and I uh, hope you all have sweet dreams. This is Sam Porzok with Colin Kerr, signing off for Good Vibes. Good night, everyone. And sweet dreams. Alone at the edge of a universe humming a tune For merely dreaming we were snow 